How's it going guys? This is not going to be my normal type of video because obviously I normally upload battles but just lately I've been battling a couple people and it, they didn't have the world's best team and I kind of wanted just to put this video out here of my UU team and just so you can go play UU and have a pretty decent team because I feel like a lot of people they don't know how to build a team but if they had the right team, they would do really good. Let me just scroll this up. So this is my UU team. I'm going to break down why I have each Pokemon and what the role is. Because like I said, a lot of people know how to play Pokemon and are good at it. They just don't know how to build a team and how to do well with the team. So first off, I'm not going to say this team is going to win you every battle. And that if you use this team, you're going to be amazing and anything like that. But... It is one of the best UU teams out there to me. And with a little bit of prediction, you can easily win a majority of your games with this team. So we're going to start off at the top. And this is my X2. And here, with Magic Bounce, this, pers this Pokemon will throw any status move back to the user. So if they try to use Toxic on you, it will Toxic them. So... Anytime I knew that I know they're gonna use stealth rocks, I know they're gonna use spikes, I switch into my X2 and he bounces them onto their side. So it's basically I don't even have to run stealth rocks, because every time they're about to set up rocks, I just switch into my X2 and they set up rocks for me. And I'm not joking, I'm about to actually take stealth rocks off my bronzong because it's so predictable when people use stealth rocks. And all I have to do is switch into my X2 and because of magic bounce he will Throw it back towards their team. So he is using Wish, Protect, Psychic, and Toxic. So if the opponent is a Psychic Pokemon, he can pretty much stall this guy. If they are Psychic, you're going to have to use Toxic and then Protect till you manage to kill him. But basically, if one of my Pokemon can completely sweep their team and they get an early hit on them and that Pokemon gets hurt, just switch into X2 use wish and sacrifice x2 to get up a wish and then switch into the pokemon give him some health and sweep with him he's basically a status person a support person actually and like i said if they are going to use a status move and you know it just switch into him and he'll magic bounce it and these are his evs ignore this and i like to run hp and defense and yeah so uh we'll do blastoise Black, Blastoise has my only priority move, which is Aqua Jet. If a Pokemon, if one of my Pokemon die and the opponent's below like 30 health, I switch into Blastoise and Aqua Jet them. Even if they res resist it, normally it kills them. And then Hydro Pump and then Dragon Tail, I think is crucial because anytime the teams, you know, anytime a Pokemon is set up like in a baton passing team, and if they have like four times defense and four times special defense. The only way to get rid of the status is to make the Pokemon switch out. So with Dragon Tail, when you hit a Pokemon, it switches him for random Pokemon on the other person's team. So if they have like four times defense and four times special attack, something ridiculous like that, you can just Dragon Tail them and pull out a different Pokemon. So basically, when people are setting up defense-wise, I'm not worried about it. I go into Bronzong, set up Reflect, and all that other stuff. And then once they start attacking, I go into Blastoise, Dragon Tail them, and then they lose all their stats and usually leave the game. So I go Health and then Attack, and it seems to work pretty well. He's also the Spinner, but if you use X2 right, they're, they're never going to be able to set up Stealth Rocks. So next is my Bronzong, and I usually lead with my Bronzong because he is tanky as crap. And if you give them 252 defense Eevee and then also run Reflect, if they have a physical attacker or anything that's not special attack, then he's going to completely wall it all day. Even if it's super effective, you cannot kill him. So he's obviously Stealth Rocker. And then I have Hypnosis, which is a 60% chance to put him to sleep. You can run Toxic and try to Toxic stall people. You can run whatever. I use Hypnosis, and it's kind of iffy. You can use whatever you want. You could even put Trick Room there because as you can see he's one of the slowest Pokemon on the game. You're never going to outspeed anyone with Bronzong. And also a lot of people like to run Levitate but Levitate standard. So people are going to assume you have Levitate and fire type moves are super effective and usually one hit KO Bronzong. So I run Heatproof and people never see it coming because 
they're going to think they're going to one-hit KO you with the Fire Blast, but it's actually only going to do 50 to 60% because of Heat Proof, and it really messes up a lot of people that just assume you have Levitate and don't have Heat Proof, or <clears throat> don't even know Heat Proof exists. And then, now this is Heracross, and he is just a monster. Heracross with Choice Scarf and Moxie Boost. Choice Scarf with the Speed EVs almost guarantees you you're always going to go first. There are a couple Pokemon that if they are also Choice Scarf, they will outspeed you. But for the most part, you can assume you're going to go first. And with the Moxie Boost, every time you kill a Pokemon, your attack goes up. So once you get one kill, you're pretty much going to sweep their team. And if they don't have a Ghost-type Pokemon, close combat their team, it's going to be an easy sweep. Because close combat does 120 power, and with the Moxie Boost, it's just going to destroy a team. And then this this move, Facade, I don't know if I said that right, does 70. But if you're you know burned or poisoned, it does 140 which is crazy so I like to use this move because when it's doing 140 damage there's very few Pokemon that can take it and then attack and speed and he can easily sweep a team now chandeliers fifth Pokemon he is ghost so anytime you know they're gonna use a fighting move just switch into chandelier will be a safe easy switch I run special attack and HP on the EVs and then a flame body which uh, I may switch up because Flame Body, I don't really, it doesn't really burn too many Pokemon, but, and I may do Flash Fire, but anyways, uh, one of the things I love to run on Chandelier is Energy Ball, because when you see a Fire Pokemon, what do you switch into? You switch into a Water Pokemon, because Water uh, Walls Fire. So when they switch into a Fire Pokemon, and you use Energy Ball on them, it's going to completely destroy them, and people get so mad because they never see it coming, why does a fire Pokemon know grass? Who knows? But it completely destroys people because they switch into water thinking they're going to wall you and all's good. And then you hit them with an energy ball and completely destroy them. And he's just all around really good person. If they have a person that you know is going to sweep your team, then you have to switch into them and get a Will Wisp on them. Because burns obviously reduce the damage and... Usually, if you get a burn on something, you can manage to kill him with something else. And then my last Pokemon is my Hariyama. I run Guts, which is, if this Pokemon has status, it's 1.5 attack. So you run Toxic Orb, so he gets Toxic, and then with his ability, his attack's automatically 1.5, which is crazy. And then Fake Out, you switch into him, you Fake Out, use Fake Out, and it will cause the Pokemon to flinch. And then the next turn, you use Bullet Punch. So you get to use two moves before the opponent even gets to attack once. It's a really good combo if um if their poke opponent is really low on health. And actually, I think I said when I was on Blastoise, Aqua Jet's my only priority move. I forgot about Hariyama. I actually have three priority moves on this team, which is pretty good. And then he's pretty much the only Pokemon that can really kill a Gliscor. So if you see a Gliscor on the opponent's team, you need to keep Hariyama alive because he can Ice Punch it and one-hit KO it. But I don't really have too much that can kill a Gliscor besides him. So um, one of the biggest threats to this team is Zapdos because he really, uh, has really high Thunder damage. And I don't have too many Pokemon that can take a Thunderbolt from Zapdos. So your best bet is to go into Bronzong and uh, just set up rocks and stuff and then try to find a way to switch them out with Blastoise or something like that. I don't know. Uh, I always have struggles with Zapdos, and that's what completely destroys my team. Um, so anyways, that's my team. If you like it, you can go try it out. If not, oh well. I think it's a really good UU team, and I win a majority of my battles using it. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you give it a try. And yeah, hope you win some battles with it.